Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Prashant and today we are going to learn one more feature in SwiftUI which is this where you can see I have added three buttons. One is add, the second one is edit and third one is delete. So these three buttons I have added as a toolbar buttons. Two are at the top and one is at the bottom. So we are going to see how you can do this with the new option in SwiftUI 2.0. So let's get started and create a new project. Select here, put first. I don't understand. Let me just I... close this. Sorry for that noise. Let's code beta. Let's create a new project. Let me full screen this. Click app, and here I'm going to name it as toolbar buttons. Make sure these settings are same and click next and i will save on the desktop okay so here as we have seen at the start you can see i have used one table view or you can say list in the center and then i have added the buttons on the navigation bar so first i will create a list so for that i will use one array of let's say let my array equals to let's just display the integer numbers it doesn't matter what we are going to display okay now i have my array after this i will create a navigation view for this top navigation And inside this I will create my list and for list I will pass my array and after this I need to pass one ID also so that it will identify one index or each value of that array uniquely and then inside this I will get one value so I will select item in from that array and I will display that using the text now let me just click resume here so that we can see what is ha happening here okay until this is loading let's add okay so it's loaded and you can see let me just change this to iphone 11 okay let me run it here also okay so until this loads we can do the next code that is writing our navigation title so i will say dot navigation title and here i will say let's say sample and now you can see it's displaying here properly and this is our navigation bar so now what we can do is we can use the new option which is available in swift ui 2.0 which is toolbar so i'll say toolbar like this and inside this you can see we can pass the items and there it has created one by default for us so i will just remove this code i don't want anything which is added by default so i will just say toolbar and inside this i will create my own toolbar item which is like this toolbar item and to this i can pass see here placement and content so first i will use placement placement is nothing but where you want to place your toolbar button so for that we have this option placement so first i want to give this on the left side that is leading an edit button so i will say dot leading okay so sometimes it doesn't get loaded so let me just type it completely that is navigation bar leading and then I insert this I can pass the content what I want to create so inside this I want to create one button so I will say button okay we are getting one error here toolbar placement item is not having this option so let's try to write it again I will say toolbar item dot and here you can see we have these options so first I want one leading so I will say this navigation bar we have written small b that's why we were we were getting that error so now after this i will say button 
and I want to give title to this button as edit and when I click this button I want to print so I will say edit click okay so this is how I can create my button so you can see here how easy it is to add this edit button at the top same like this I will add two more buttons so let me just copy this code so like toolbar first we have this button add and delete so what we want to do is here I want to add add and inside of here I want to say trailing so that it will add this button here you can see it is reflecting also there is one more option instead of trailing you can say primary action so that also work here it will add that add button on this side so now let's try the third option that is adding the button at the bottom toolbar so i will say for that bottom bar and here i want to say delete and i will say delete click here i will say add click and you can see it is reflecting here so now let's run it and see how it is looking and whether it is working fine or not so this is the previous one now it will launch the new one you can see it has launched and once we click on those button let's see it is printing these edit clicked add clicked or delete click option or not sometimes this uh, machine gets <laughs> loaded actually because of this canvas view but yeah now it is loaded let's click on edit and you can see here at the bottom it has printed edit click once we click on add it says add clicked and once you click on delete it is saying delete click so this is how easy it is to use this new toolbar option and adding toolbars on our view in swift ui so i hope guys you have learned something new today so if you have learned something new make sure you hit the like button that will encourage me to create more videos like this and if you are new to my channel uh, i try to pay post videos here whatever i learned in the previous week i try to share that with the community so if you want to learn something new every week from swift ui or swift also then you can subscribe to this channel thank you guys for watching this video bye